So here is a really basic PWA that is going to basically control this receiver that's hanging out down here, which is connected to this TV up here. So uh, I reverse engineered basically the the web panel that actually lives on this receiver. So we're just going to change the volume real fast. So that's 50. I'll tap it again. You can see the PWA. Changes the thing. Seduction games, the dancing about folk. There has to be an easier way to steal. You're assuming. So I'm gonna make it quiet again because it's very late and my kids are sleeping. Uh, but we can also change the inputs real fast. Uh, this is not a huge set of things, but you can actually see. If I click some down here, you can actually see it changing stuff. Go back to Chromecast. <laughs> And you can see I have a little web component here called Yamaha Controls. It basically controls all this. The goal here is that actually you would use this to be able to, to say, the receiver, say, is broadcasting this. Because ideally it sits there and lives on some DHCP on your network. And if a physical web device like a beacon was there, it could tell you where this lives. You could load this very PWA and then operate it as such. And this is a very small subset, like the base subset of controls that people in particularly my family would actually use input change, volume change. Um, and if visitors came over and they saw that thing and as they were connected to my network, they could actually interact with this. So a little quick demo this evening and now I am off to bed. Woohoo, web, PWAs, all the things, polymer, yay.